so oh god this is hard to hold my camera up you know when I haven't got my stand um so I have decided that um I want to let any of I want to let my viewers into my world a little bit more so I'm gonna start got my hair's a bloody mess I'm gonna start doing um a vlog every month which I'm gonna title confessions of a hyper achiever which is all about you know my world not just my working world but my personal life as well because I constantly struggle with this um, overworking aspect of my life. And if anybody's connected to me on LinkedIn or Instagram, but LinkedIn in particular, I talk about it a lot, about how um, I'm just kind of an, a bit of... I'm focused so much on being um, successful, but it can kind of be taken a little bit too far sometimes. So I thought it'd be really good to... Um, do yeah a monthly vlog talk about it in a little bit more detail share my struggles things that go well things that don't go so well because I understand that a lot of people in recruitment have the same drive and it can it's great because you know you can achieve lots of things and be successful but quite often then you don't understand when you've been successful or celebrate your successes it can be really hard on yourself um, be a bit afraid of failure when there's no need to be sometimes so I thought you know what I'm going to start blogging about or vlogging about it share my struggles ups and downs as I said you know the good days the bad days and hopefully it might help people out a little bit as well so this morning um, I'm delivering one of my fast blast sessions um, but it's a private session today. They normally open courses, but somebody's asked for it to be private. I've done it before. I've done it a million times. I've got all the stuff ready. I know deep down I can do it, but I always have these little niggles the night before and in the morning of, what if it's not perfect? What if they don't like it? Um, always. And deep down, I know I like my sessions are great. I get amazing feedback. You know, I know what I'm talking about. But there's always this kind of... Um, pressure I put on myself for everything to be like absolutely perfect and we all know that perfect doesn't even bloody exist so um yeah looking forward to it but putting the normal pressure on myself um to like I said make something perfect when you know I tell the people I train all the time like perfection is is something that's pretty hard to strive for because it doesn't exist so I'm terrible at taking my own advice so going to sign off, get myself prepped, ready for the session and um, we'll catch up with you guys at another point um, to give you more updates on my days. So, finished that session, it went really well, I had nothing to worry about. This is what I always do, kind of put that um, pressure on myself before I do training sessions but yeah, it was really good, it went really, really well. Um, just had like a little bit of drama with... Um, a client I'm currently working with um, and yeah need to get it sorted um, no nobody's fault by the way but yeah I just find like I get that's when I get that kind of um, anxiety around you need to do more you need to do more like this is, like putting the pressure on myself um, get a bit kind of anxious um, I'm, I'm what makes me really anxious is the success of my business because I live on my own um I work alone this is all I pay the bills on my own like and because of that there is a lot of pressure on me to make my business a success and you know ultimately I need money to live and run my house and um pay my business bills and when stuff like this happens my brain goes into like warning mode panic mode and I can just put way too much pressure on myself and panic too much and not sometimes maybe see the reality of a situation I've been like this for years um and ultimately I care about my clients and work being done properly and things going well but some stuff is out of my control and some stuff isn't my problem but I always make it my problem um so yeah it's um what I thought was going to be a really nice kind of straightforward day and once I got that training session out of the way I could kind of have a breather and crack on with some stuff this afternoon it's ended up taking over my whole thoughts and my whole day but this is the way it goes isn't it like this is the recruitment industry at the end of the day oh end of an emotionally draining and tiring day um 
I'm just waiting outside my sister's house. Um, this is one of the things I love to do to unwind and de-stress and kind of recover from days like this is go and see my nieces and nephews because they're just lush and I can't think about the business and I can't think about work and worrying. So yeah, I'm just waiting outside, waiting for them to get back so I can go and chill. But oh my God, I'm so fucking glad it's Friday tomorrow. So it's just after seven. Yeah, just after seven. Um, do you know what? I absolutely love working in the mornings this early. I get so much done. Look how big my coffee mug is. Literally as big as my face. Um, I get so much done. No one disturbs me because not many other people are working. Um, and I just, yeah, I just am so motivated. I wake up in the morning and I just want to get to my office like ASAP. Like rush breakfast, rush getting ready. It's mad, isn't it? Um, but this is what I mean about this hyperachiever stuff. Um, I suppose it's a good thing, but yeah, a lazy breakfast in the morning is not something I'm able to achieve. Another end of another busy day. So I'm just in bed. I like went out at the weekend, went to Manchester with, um, one of my friends to, um, a defected in the house warehouse project event. So to say today has been a little bit of a struggle would be a little bit of an understatement, but I managed to eat well all day, go to the gym. Um, I was with a client today, still managed to kind of, you know, pull my socks up and get on with my job. Um, but I realised I didn't do a very good introduction the other day to this vlog and why I've called it what I've called it and why I've started it. So, um... I basically for years have been like a massive workaholic and um, I've never really, I've I've always thought it's a good quality but I also realise it's a bit of a hindrance to me as well and I've struggled f for years with like overworking myself to the point of exhaustion, making myself ill, piling on extra pressure and stress when I don't need to and I mean I was awful sometimes when I was a recruitment consultant and um, unfortunately I worked from home for seven years with my old company so I wasn't visible to people so they couldn't see sometimes the state I got in but essentially like it, what made me decide to kind of change what I was doing was I had a panic attack um, from just just being exhausted like my body had just had enough I think of years and years and years of overworking 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 anyway started my business in 2021 and you know nothing I'm still the same I'm still like I am and obviously it's made me successful in so many ways but it's also you know I really really struggle to give myself time off and I feel really guilty for it sometimes as well like I have less holiday you think with a business bearing in mind you don't have to book holidays, you'd have more time off. Well, I probably have less because I feel so guilty to take time off. Um, and yeah, and I, I really overwork myself. And part of it is because I love what I do, but I also have this insane level of guilt. I always feel like I won't be successful enough if I take time off and, or too much time off. So, um, yeah, I got introduced, I was doing my disc training and one of the women on the course told me about this positive intelligence coaching and it was so interesting, the book, and um, you learn lots of really useful techniques. But what it talks about is that we've all got saboteur, saboteurs, saboteurs, um, and they kind of try and, well, I suppose kind of, infiltrate your brain and and ruin positive trains of thought present thinking and I'm quite a spiritual person and I'm quite big on things like presence and um you know really living in the moment but I really struggle with it sometimes especially when I'm busy and anyway you do this test with the positive intelligence coaching to find out what your saboteurs are because everybody's different and for me, my top one, you have more than one, but my top one was the hyperachiever. And the way they describe it, I think, is um, people that need success and achievement to feel validated um, and seek external kind of 
achievement and success and but as a result they can be very they can be workaholics and overwork themselves um they go into a lot more detail but I was like yeah that is me to an absolute t um and I want to embrace part of that behavior because I think it's me like I don't want to be a different person and I love the fact that I am a grafter and I always do what I say I'm going to do. If I set my mind to something, I achieve it. And I work hard, like really hard. Um, and I love that. I'm proud of it. But it has, it's at a detriment sometimes too. And this is what it was saying on this positive intelligence coaching. It can make you quite disconnected from people emotionally. Um, and you kind of, you know... I'm naturally not, and, and people I train may disagree, but I'm naturally not an empathetic person. And that emotional side sometimes gets overrun with my workaholic tendencies. Everything's very black and white. And I can be very much so sucked into what I'm doing. I'm, I'm lo a loose connection with what's going on around me. Um, and when my old job, I you know, that really affected my family life. Uh, my ability to be in a relationship, form relationships. Um, and I think a lot of that changed when I my nieces and nephews were born. I wanted to be really close to them and make them a part of my life, and they are. And I'm much, much, much better now. But, um, yeah, I do place work in terms of the level of importance above quite a lot of things in my life, including my own well-being. It's always a really good idea to market and start selling a pilot for a course when you haven't finished it yet. <laughs> this is the kind of shit I do to myself. I love, like, I thrive off the challenge and I love it, but um, I really put myself up against it sometimes. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, trying to finish this um, new course that I'm launching. Well, it's a soft launch, like a pilot next week. Um, I'm really excited for it, but um, God, I'm cramming stuff in this week majorly. Majorly. But this is what I do. So I've got this presentation this morning, just having a coffee. Um, I'm actually feeling really good. Normally I'd be like putting the pressure on crazily, but um, I'm quite excited. I feel confident. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think um, sometimes I can kind of really put the pressure on myself for stuff like this because um you know I want it to be amazing and perfect and I want to make it a big success but I feel like with some of these speaking events because I'm not being because I'm not being I think it's because I'm not being paid for it I mean obviously it can create business for me I feel like I I just get satisfaction out of doing it like it's an accomplishment and that's good whereas sometimes when I'm being paid to do something I really pile the pressure on to be perfect like because I feel like I've got to deliver and and it's not that I don't deliver when I'm not being paid but there's just that difference for me I think I'm starting to work that out about myself like this is just me presenting today is like a hobby for me like I'm doing something fun obviously I, like I said I could get business out of it but um that pressure I'm putting on myself isn't is slightly less it's still there but it's slightly less there we go this is typical me came back from a really long day meetings and that presentation which I'll fill you in on later um, there we go, pile of wash in there, I've still got to put away. And um, I told myself as a reward, you know, I'll, I'll come home and finish. And I've come on, put the tea, home, put the TV on. And I've been working here ever since. And it is now 20 past six. Um, you know, I've wanted to catch up on some emails. I've needed to send stuff out. Um, but I'm still sitting here and I'm starving starving stop working kate you idiot see this is what i love to do when i've had a good day stick good music on dance around the kitchen can't go wrong I had to turn the music off because i did want to speak and you wouldn't be able to hear anything i was saying <laughs> Oh, I had a really good day. That um, presentation went so well. Like, I, it made an impact. Everybody was loving it. Loads of interest, loads of questions. And then um, one of my clients, like I said, she's more of a friend over a client, came with me. 
Um, we had a lush lunch as well with somebody from team. Um, and then I went to see her new office. And do you know what, right? She, it's so amazing the journey we've come on together. We met on an intro to coaching diploma course in 2019 in Bristol. We were both in recruitment roles that we weren't happy in. We were knackered, exhausted, wanted to do something different, didn't know what we wanted to do. Now I'm coming up to two years in my business. She's coming up to three, I think. And she's gone from one man band to having an office, six people working for her, a very successful agency. And it was just so nice to meet her today, talk and catch up, but be inspired by her success. And I'm so fucking proud of her. Like, I just think... Oh, I need to hide that awful boiler in the background. It's just so... I just love her. Like, to the journey we've been on, and it makes you think, like, God, if we've done this in two years, what what else will we achieve? And it's so exciting. So I've just had one of those days where I realise why I set up my business and why I do what I do and why the hard work and the overworking, which I'm not re recommending, has paid off because I am where I am now, where I'm dancing around my kitchen in what can only resemble Christmas pyjamas and a jumper. Um... Loving life because I'm doing something that I'm so passionate about. I'm helping people. I'm giving back. And I get paid for it. Like, isn't that the dream? So, yeah. The hard work is worth it. And I'm going to finish the day cooking some lovely dinner, listening to my old school garage tunes, and reflecting on a great positive day. So, peace out. There we go. Made it down the beach for a little walk. Went to the gym was going to rush back to do some work and I thought, you know what, that can wait. I can do it later. Needed a well and break down the beach. Absolutely bloody knackered. And this is so good for the soul. I haven't done much vlogging, actually, the last week. Not as much as I normally would, anyway. But I've had a lovely weekend. I took Friday off. Quality time with family and some downtime. Went out yesterday, but I also went on a really lovely long 12k coaster walk with my training group from the gym, which was amazing. And it's given me the bug for walking again, so I'm on a walk in the woods, not far from where I live at the moment, and it's just amazing. Like, all the autumn colours, it's just absolutely beautiful. So good for the soul. So good. So yeah, off to enjoy the rest of my Sunday, if I can find my car. A nice relaxed one. So I'm in my office today. I was meant to be um, doing some training with a client, but it got cancelled because the girl was ill. Um, so I'm making the most of the day and doing some, and in fact I've got makeup on, I've actually done my hair for once, to film some YouTube videos. So I've got my little ring light out. And um, I've got like, what I normally do is I've got, to try and show you, notes on here, like little pointers of what to say, but I tend to just go with the flow, really. But yeah, I was doing them in a studio with somebody, but I've decided to go back to doing them myself now. So um, it's I, I enjoy recording them. It's the editing I find quite hard to get done because it's so time consuming, but I've now essentially got a free day. So I thought, why not dedicate it to YouTube? So that's what I'm doing. So it is just about to turn seven in the morning. And I've just got in my office, so I've set up everything. Computer's on, don't know why that's not on. That's weird. Let's turn that on. And, um, yeah, I've, I've felt really weird, like, the last couple of weeks. Like, normally I wake up with a spring in my step. And um, I just haven't. There's just been something missing from me, like, just... Not lack of motivation, but just my mood's been different. And today's the first day in a good two weeks, maybe two and a half, three, that I've woken up, like, really excited for, like, the, the day. And I think it's because, well, A, I've started doing meditation again, which has helped me be more present and just get rid of some emotions. I'm very good or bad you might want to say doing that is holding things in um 
And yeah, so I think the meditation is definitely helping. Like I did one last night. I'm going to do one um, this morning now, just before I start, once I've drunk my coffee. Um, yeah, I th actually, I think that that is the main thing. Because um, I couldn't put my finger on what it was. And I think I was just thinking too far ahead all the time about everything and not focusing on, like instead of the day at hand, what I was doing in that moment, thinking way too far ahead. So, I mean, this vlog is a perfect excuse for me to be more honest about like how I'm feeling. But yeah, today I just feel so much better. It's nice to to wake up and have that buzz back. And I think some of it just comes down to being tired. Like I have had a really heavy six weeks um, even at weekends and sleep hasn't been a priority but now it's going to be because my business is so important to me um, and I do and again this is the hyper achiever side of me I, I want to be amazing at what I do successful perfect and I just think well going out at the weekend and all of that stuff doesn't really help. So having a bit of a break from all of that, I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, I'm super excited for today. I've got a chat with my mentor. Our first chat, like we've had a phone chat, but our first proper mentoring session. I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a run through of a session I'm delivering on Thursday just to time it. Um, got the gym this afternoon. Obviously, I always look forward to that. Um, and I'm just starting to work on some free resources as well. And then on a Tuesday or a Thursday, I normally go to my sister's and see all the kids. And I always look forward to that. So yeah, I've got a really nice day planned. So yeah, but just so glad to feel a bit better. So it's 7.53 on a Thursday. I've been in here since about quarter past. I am just doing a um proposal for a customer let me see if i can just turn this camera around a minute uh no i can't let me just see if i can film myself like this i have no idea if the camera's even on myself um i'm just doing a proposal for a client who um wants me to train some of their consultants in the philippines so it's really really exciting I'd just woken up with my buzz back um, and I think what's been working is me just slowing down a little bit more, like that hyperachiever controlling side of me, just quietening it down. So yesterday I finished, um, I went to the gym about three o'clock and afterwards I went straight out for a walk in one of my favourite places. Didn't rush the walk, just took my time, you know, it was just so peaceful, so nice. And then I had a lovely relaxing evening. My friend came round, we had a lovely chat. Um, and yeah, I've woken up just like with a real buzz today and I've got a pilot launch of a course, which like I'm a little bit nervous for, like I always am, because I want it to be perfect, but I'm also feeling like, yeah, I can do this. Like, And also I think I'm just starting to like get a bit better with like, it's not about impressing other people and other people thinking you're successful. It's me about how I feel. And if I'm happy, what does the outward approval mean? Like, you know, I know I train well because I get great feedback. So, um, yeah, I've just, um, I've just woken up feeling really happy, really content, got a buzz. Um, and I'm really excited because tomorrow I've got a wellness day. I'm going to go on an amazing walk somewhere I've never been before. So yeah, I think like I'm just feeling, I'm putting less pressure on myself, being less critical and it feels lovely. I've just delivered some Zoom training. Um, I always get this feeling right with Zoom. I think it's because um, like sometimes you can't see everybody anyway. But like all the time I'm worrying like, are they engaged? Are they having a good time? Um, do they think it's crap? Like every single piece of Zoom training I deliver, that they're the thoughts going through my mind. Sometimes even face to face. I've been doing this ages now. Logically, I know I'm good at what I do. I get amazing feedback. But I doubt myself all the time. Like, oh my God, is this good enough? Like I come off some sessions thinking that was shit. And then when I get the feedback forms and they're saying it's amazing, I'm like shocked. 
I don't know what it is. I'm so critical of myself. So I've just come off that Zoom training and so I can get out of my head. I'm going down the beach, I'm going to read my book in the car, listen to the waves. I've got a little, of course, some snacks as well. Um, just when get out of my own head because I'm just too bloody critical of myself sometimes. It's really annoying. My realisation has come in the last week that like a big thing for me is feeling free with my business and in life. And actually what that means to me is no goals or targets. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but this hyperachiever part of me constantly sets goals and targets in everything I do. Even like stupid stuff, like how quick can I get through the shopping trip in Aldi? Um, and actually freedom for me is not having an end goal, not even having a start, just, just being able to be and do something without the pressure of like a, a status or achieving a certain goal. Um, and I've made the decision that I'm not going to put a target on what I want to bring into the business. I'm going to delete the one for this year and next year not make one. Because as long as I've got enough in the bank every month to pay all my business bills and my bills and live a nice life and, you know, have a holiday once a year and eat, um, that's all I care about. And no one sees my profit and loss sheet apart from me. So who fucking cares? Like, who actually cares? And I'm just starting to realise, as long as I'm working with amazing clients who I love helping and they appreciate me, like, who fucking cares? And it's really dawned on me this week, I've had like major epiphanies this week, that that's what I want from my business and my life. Morning, so it is the 31st of October, it is 7.15, um, bloody hell, my hair is always a mess in these. So I'm, um, I've started work and obviously it's my last day of my October vlog. Um, so I thought it'd be good at the end of every month to... Um, to do like a bit of a reflection because I never really do that and just kind of move on to the next month, move on to the next month. Um, so I think I'm really proud of the fact I've started this vlog in the first place. Um, it's an idea I've had for a while, but um, yeah, I suppose it's taken some commitment to do it. So I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I've done that. Um, and I think as well, there's lots of things I'm proud of. I think it's been a really good month for the business. I had this realise that I've been... I have a tendency to panic about money. And um, worry too much about stuff. And I sorted out some account stuff yesterday and paid myself. Because I do it on the 30th of every month. And I just realised actually, like, the business is in a good position. I've got more money than I thought in the bank. And I can afford to pay this off and that off. And... I don't know, I just felt really proud of myself because I had some really difficult points earlier in the year um, where, like, I even applied for a job. <laughs> like, I put myself into so much pressure. And it's really nice, actually, following this new rule of um, not maybe focusing so much on, like, the goal or the target and just going with the flow. I feel really comfortable with it. And I know I'm driven, so it's not like I'll achieve less. I actually think I'm going to end up achieving more because I'm just going to relax. Um, so what I'm going to do today, you can probably see I've got a whiteboard here. Um, and it's got, you might not be able to see it, like targets and KPI stuff, like things I monitor. And I will keep monitoring some stuff, um, like how many messages it takes for me to get like a booking with somebody. But um, I'm going to scribble off the target and what I'm on currently and just delete it because I just don't think it's helpful. And it'd be interesting to see what I actually end up doing by the time I get to April. Um, what else has been good about this month? The fact I've actually taken a wellness day, I've even taken two. I'm really proud of myself for that. It takes a lot for me to, to do that. Um, and it's really benefited me. It's really, really benefited me. Um, I've managed to keep on top of like my training around a busy work schedule. Um, it's still been a bit nuts this month. I had stuff going on at the weekends. Managed to have a nice chilled weekend this weekend, which was lovely. Like, really lovely. And when I say chilled, I mean, for me, I still went to the gym and I did a 12k run yesterday, but, you know. Um, but just to sit still yesterday afternoon and watch a film. Like, actually watch a film and not feel guilty for it. Not be distracted. That's a big thing. Um... 
what else am I proud of this month? I just think like the work I'm putting in and like I'm picking up some really good clients now. People that appreciate what I do. Um, you know, I've launched a new course. People are happy with it. Um, I've just worked my ass off basically, which is in my nature, but um it's this is the hyper achiever side of me normally is I don't celebrate it or achieve it. And it's like never enough. Like you should be doing more and just and I think I'm becoming less concerned with being successful, being deemed successful in other people's eyes. And actually, if as long as I feel successful and I'm happy, that is all that matters and all that should matter. So, yeah, that's my little reflection. I'm going to do the same thing at the end of November. Be interesting to see what's changed, actually. But I'm going into November feeling positive feeling like I've made big progress, I'm becoming more present and learning when to slow down and look after myself and fitting in meditating and walks and stuff, whereas at the start of October I was rubbish at it. So yeah, it's been a good month. I hope people have enjoyed my vlog. Um, and yeah, here's to next month.